That's where the dog's hitting at, so. I hate to break it to you folks, but that's not FEMA. That's not the army. That's not our government. Those are volunteers out there still looking for missing people, still looking for remains, looking for bodies, if you will. And you know, there's still hundreds of people missing, if not more. I think that the numbers are way higher. Because if you look at everything that's going on, if you hear from people on the ground, if you hear about the amount of kids who haven't shown up to school and things like that, I can tell you that the number of missing is way higher than what they're telling us. But here's what you got to look out for. You see, they have this new thing that they do. They have, oh, we have, let's just say, for example, we have 500 people missing and hundreds unaccounted for. Watch out for that unaccounted for. I've seen this in other disasters. You know, these unaccounted for people are missing, but they try not to include them in the numbers of missing people. So pay attention to that because a lot of articles, a lot of the people covering this story on the mainstream, they'll, they'll talk about the death toll. They'll talk about the number of missing, and then they'll talk about the number of unaccounted for folks. Unaccounted for and missing is basically the same exact thing. They try to pretend like it's not. But here's one of my number one concerns as we move further and further from this storm. The cleanup process is beginning. And some of these government agencies are going to come in there because you, you got to understand, folks, there's areas that are just covered in debris. There's areas buried in sand and mud and dirt, okay? Okay. I mean, whole entire homes almost buried in mud. That's how bad the situation is. So you're going to have a cleanup process where some of these government agencies are going to come in, try to clean up the debris, clean up all of these fallen trees and stuff like that. And my concern is in the process, they're going to comb over and probably miss a lot of the missing bodies that are out there laying under this debris. I'm really concerned about that because the number of unaccounted for is still extremely high. A lot of these bodies have not been found, may never be found. And when you have these government agencies sweeping in and cleaning up some of these areas really quickly, you, you never know what could be under all of that stuff. So I'm worried about that. I'm worried that a lot of these people are literally just being buried under, you know, new found mud and foundation and ground that was there that wasn't before. Listen, it, it it's something that I don't even really want to go into detail about and talk about. But it is something, it, it's a question that we have to raise. Because if these agencies are coming in and cleaning up these areas really quickly, obviously they don't have the time to really do the searching that they need to do. Because people can be buried under, you know, just so much mud, so much so much debris, you name it. So I'm really worried about that, that a lot of the people missing may never be found because the cleanup process is coming through and kind of just discarding of everything, right? Maybe even remains and people. But I'm not the only one concerned about this. I think people on the ground have been raising these questions as well. So let's go ahead and roll this clip and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. I want to show you guys something, okay? I was just here yesterday to try to help with recovery efforts of some, you know, people's family, right? And uh, there was a whole wall of debris back here, okay? By the time I got back this morning, they'd already bulldozed it. Now, I know within that amount of time, they couldn't have looked for victims because that was a whole pile of stuff like it was bad and I come back today 
and it's essentially like gone so I gotta bring a bobcat in and an excavator yeah Watch out, because that's... Oh, yeah, folks, it's a very delicate situation. And in many cases, like that woman just said, some of these areas were cleared so quickly, there's no way they had time to really do their due diligence when it comes to searching for remains, searching for bodies, or what have you. So that is very alarming. And my thing is this, listen, we still got folks trapped in the mountain right? We still got people stranded that haven't seen any form of help yet. I think we should be focusing our efforts on that. Listen, we, we the cleanup process has to happen. I get it. But before we rush into the cleanup process, possibly disposing of bodies, burying bodies even further or, or what have you, maybe we should make ev um, sure everyone's okay first. Before we worry about picking up the trees and the pieces of wood and the random discarded stuff that's flying all around the place, maybe we should make sure that everyone's been rescued first. But it's kind of ass backwards. They're coming in cleaning up these areas before they made sure that the people in these areas have food and water and shelter. And, you know, I've seen so many cases where people are now camping along the river, camping in spots where their homes used to be, you know, luckily, some people made it to these areas and provided people tents and stuff like that. But yeah, um, this was one of my main concerns after this storm hit, because I know how all these cleanup processes can go, you know, because I see them happening in Florida and stuff all the time. But usually we're not dealing with something where you have hundreds of people missing and unaccounted for. You know what I mean? You don't have this you know, catastrophic flooding that is wiping homes everywhere and people unprepared. You know, you don't see this amount of chaos often. So I just know that this cleanup process is quick as it's going in some areas that they simply cannot. They have not had the time to really go out there and search for people. So who knows? I, I, I don't even want to go into detail about what could be happening. Just think about people being buried under debris, buried under whatever, and you got these bulldozers, bulldozers bulldozing in, dump trucks coming in, riding all over the place, picking up a bunch of stuff and discarding of it. Who knows what's in that stuff? Uh, um, Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, like I said, I don't want to go into full detail. Use your imagination if you need to. But that's where we're at, folks. I just, I don't think anything could have prepared us for what we saw from Hurricane Helene. Um, it's just some of these areas that were hit, never in your wildest dreams did you, did you think that something like that would happen to these areas. And that's why a lot of these people were caught so off guard. And, you know, over the coming days and weeks, we're going to, we're going to still be hearing a lot of stuff because the amount of destruction that happened, it's not something that's going to go away tomorrow. A lot of these areas have been flattened. And I don't know if they're going to be rebuilt. I don't know what's going to happen to some of these areas. There's a lot of theories out there and stuff that we'll get to in future videos. But for right now, I'm just, it's heartbreaking thinking of, you know, the fact that here it is. We're Friday. A lot of us are enjoying a nice Friday. And there's people still trapped on the mountains in North Carolina. Haven't seen FEMA. Haven't seen the government. Haven't seen anyone that would come and help except for volunteers that are risking their lives, you know, hiking and tracking through the mountains and through um, just devastation, trying to get food and supplies to them. And, you know, like I said, like we've been talking about, this cleanup process is something that I'm worried about, too. And we're going to have to continue worrying about that in the days to come. But for now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll be talking to you all very soon in the next one.